Hello everybody and welcome back to another Fiend Folio video. I don't know why I said video, I know. Never intro it that way, but I think we're going to do The Punished this time around. He is always a fun chap. Always a fun chap. We've been playing more of the modded characters recently, and I don't know, I'm just enjoying them quite a lot. We start off with Little Fiend, which I honestly don't remember what Little Fiend does. I'm pretty sure he's quality zero, though, so I don't think he's going to be doing too much to help. Uh, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Um... And we got to remember as well that Liberation is like pretty much a use on, uh, oh, okay, he spawns little dudes. Okay, that's not bad at all. Um, yeah, Liberation is pretty much just something that we want to be using whenever it's ready. I kind of always miss that factor with this character. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, I, I thought I could maybe make it past there. Okay, these guys are a little tricky. Um, get deaded, but we want to we try and get some fire rate ups. But today... Today is a joyous day because I've been hit again. No, that's not the reason. Um, today, um, I'm going to be going into town, into the c center of the town I live in. It's not really a town, it's a city. But anyways, you still call it town center. I don't know why that is. I never really call it city center. It's always town. Going to town. Which is, yeah, strange because we don't live in one. But anyways, um, oh, bugger. He's, uh, he's blocked off my access to this. Um, but, ooh, that's actually pretty good. Um, basically, at the minute, the plan is to go to this place near me called Salt and Pepper Chicken. And oh my god, it's the best. It, like, it has been a, um, it was sort of like a street food place for a while, but they've just opened their own restaurant. And honestly, ooh, new famine. Ooh, hard famine. Okay, this is a, this is a tricky version of famine here. Boom, boom. We'll do that. Yeah, um, it's, oh my god, it's like one of the best places ever. Um... But yeah, so for the question of the day, what's a food place that you discovered that you think is relatively unknown that you really, really enjoy? Even if it's something that's local and people, other people can't find it, I'd still be interested to know. Definitely a hard version of famine here. Kind of annoying that we know that we're just going to get ball of bandages out of it. I suppose I could have used liberation to get ghost bombs, but eh. Apparently the way that it works with, um, as we sort of discovered last time with this character, is you basically, with every ghost bombs you get, you have a higher chance of getting, um, I should open my can here. You have a higher chance of getting your birthright, and your birthright makes it so that you no longer get ghost bombs and can get other items as well. So it's, it's kind of an interesting concept. Um, okay, good. It should kill all of those boys. But yeah, it's just, oh, it's one of those places that, like, I wouldn't say it was, like, undiscovered at all. It was definitely known about, but I mean, the way we found out about it was, um, was in this sort of article um, about our city that was, like, talking about all the best places to go sort of thing. Okay, slightly difficult for us here, because I can't get over there, but that's why we have liberation for the flight. Um, yeah, and we ended up going there, and it's been like one of our favourite places. And it's kind of changed hands a lot, because it, it used to be located in the, um, in sort of the shopping mall that's, that's near us. Um, oh my god, I need to get some health really bad. Yeah, it used to be located in this, in like the shopping mall near us, in sort of the food court area. They have this like, food court part with, a, with all street foods. Oh, I might die here. If I do, it's, it is as it is. I'm hoping I don't, but... It could happen. It could happen. Anyways, um... Yeah, it's, it, it's like... Part of this sort of, like, street food place. It's actually really cool. Like, you don't really get this very often. Um, but it's just a place that's just full of different street food places. Um, and it was part of that. And it was by far, by far, the most successful. By the way, I don't know why all our enemies are leaving tiers when they die. Like, they're leaving, like, a single small tier. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Um, yeah, uh, and it was, it was by far the most popular place, and then they, uh, for some reason stupidly were like, hey, we're gonna raise everyone's rent in here by a substantial amount, and so pretty much, like, hey, look at that, all the little tears, uh, for some, like, for some reason they decided to raise the rent, and, like, basically everyone in there, aspe like, was against it, obviously, but some places outright even though they were like the most popular places outright couldn't afford the rent it, it went up from like i think it was like 600 pound a month to like 1200 it like literally doubled it was it was an insane insane increase um it, i don't know exactly the exact numbers but it was something like that you took my charge i don't really care um and it, and it forced them out like they were like yeah we, we we literally can't afford this anymore we're gonna have to leave so they had to leave and it kind of looked like they were gonna shut down um, it, it seemed like they were going to shut down, which was, which was obviously going to be 
horrible if that was the case. Um, I was really hoping they didn't. Luckily, they ended up um, sort of attaching onto another bar and like setting up kitchen there. And then now, because that's been going well for so long, they've actually um, started up their own version of their own restaurant, which is awesome. Keeper's Annoying Fly. Orbital uh, Fly Familiar blocks both player and enemy projectiles, and Isaac's Tears deal more contact damage to enemies than Tears it absorb. I, I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, I didn't understand a word of that, um, and I don't fire Tears, so I, I, I have a feeling it's not going to be all that relevant to us, but we'll, we'll see. <laughs> I hate it when that happens, where the ghost just, like, spins around the enemy. This is problematic because we're going to get spiders in here. Oh, wait, no. I somehow managed to get this guy to throw his spiders directly into the wall behind him. Thus not actually spawning any spiders at all, which is very helpful. Honestly, Little Fiend is not bad at all. I really didn't think Little Fiend was that much to rave about, but um, spawning the Little Fiend uh, minions every now and again, really nice. Oh god, that was very close. Very close indeed. This has been tricky. This has been really tricky. I, I could probably go to the shop and buy a soul heart, but I'm going to refrain for now. And just hope for the best here. Use liberation once it's available. I love that like massive speed boost it gives you upon proccing it as well. It's pretty useful. Oh, what the hell? We crit there. Apparently these guys can crit automatically. Did not know that. <gasps> There's a soul heart. Okay. There's a soul heart. Love it. With our trinket as well, we have the chance to get um, holy mantles. 15% chance of picking up a soul heart, so that's pretty decent as well. But yeah, we're, we're, going, we're going pretty well. We're going pretty well as we go. But yeah, I, I, I really think that um, a lot of street food places, like... I, I have to admit, I've never been a big proponent of street food. Like, I've never been a person that, like, really seeks it out. And I have to admit, I was very wrong to, uh, to not... Look more, look more closely and give them a bit of a, bit of a second chance, because honestly, most of the places are absolutely fantastic. Um, and it's been sort of become more so a thing where now when I'm out, I like to try new street food places if I can, because there's a lot of really good ones. For example, uh, I don't know if anyone here has watched or does watch uh, Syndicate, the Syndicate project. He actually lives very, very close to where I live. Um, and so in a few of his videos, uh, one, one particularly was like one of his daily vlogs that he does. Um, I watch those every now and again, especially if there's like some, some interesting adventure or anything. But anyways, he went into the town center and he um, he went to the street food place. I'd seen a bit, like, I'd seen so many times. I'd seen hundreds of times and I just never thought to go there. And he was like, oh yeah, my friend, like my friend's mum earns it. And he, he, he tried it and he was like, yeah, it's like absolutely fantastic. So the next time I was there, double tap to trigger nerve pinch. You take fake damage and gain a permanent speed down when that happens. However, there's an 8% chance to activate your active item for free if it's uncharged. I, I guess I'll take it, but right now it doesn't seem super useful. Um, yeah, and I ended up trying this place, and it's it was like a Jamaican chicken place, and oh my god, it's so good. They do, um, is it called jollof rice? I don't remember exactly how to pronounce it. It's something along those lines, jollof rice, jollof rice, and oh, it's very, very good. And the, uh, they do like chicken thighs that are all um, like fried in, in sort of a, a rub. And then also on top of that, hey, we got a holy mantle this time. Um, on top of that, they do uh, uh, deep-fried plantain, and oh my god, that was like the first time I'd had like proper good plantain. Because I had um, I'd had plantain chips before, but honestly, plantain chips aren't great. Like they're not bad. I, I do actually quite like them, but they don't taste very different to potato chips like at all. I feel like if you slice anything thin, thin enough and deep fry it, it all just tastes like frying oil. Um, so, yeah, I wasn't really that impressed the first time. And I kind of wrote it off as like, eh, nothing, nothing special. Um, and then for some reason, like, that happened quite, like, like when I was a lot younger. And then for some reason, I kind of got it into my head that um, plantain was um, aubergine. I don't know why. They're obviously two very different things. But whenever someone said plantain, I always thought of aubergine. And so, like, whenever I was offered it or... If ever I saw it on a menu, I'd never order it because I'd be like, nah, aubergine's terrible. Um, <laughs> even though it's not aubergine. Um, yeah, and it, it obviously was a bit stupid of me. And then, yeah, we, we eventually my girlfriend was like, oh, I really want to try this. I've heard it's really good. And I was like, oh, no. Um, but then she got it, and obviously it wasn't what I expected. 
And oh my god, it's like the best thing ever. <sighs> Unfortunately, that doesn't do anything for us. Good trinket though. 12% chance to fire a godhead tier without herming, but still, pretty useful. I'm going to take a gamble here. I'm going to grab that and then open both of these. I'm hoping for health or an item. And we get both, baby. Very nice. The uh, thousands of cobwebs here are going to be problematic. Although, I will say one good thing about the cobwebs is our, our um, cracks in the ground can't show up where cobwebs are. Which means it's a little easier for us to actually locate where they are. We need something that's an on-damage effect, because we take fake damage when we proc that. Oh, we got that speed down there, because I accidentally double-tapped. Whoopsie. Seems like it'd be really good with good, uh, a good enough active, but for us right now, it's not so good. That was pretty worth it. That was pretty worth it. We got Binky. I like that a lot. Yeah, it's another question of the day as well, actually. Um, is there any food like that where, for some reason, you just got it confused for the longest time and never decided to try it or, like, wrote it off as something disgusting and you realised it wasn't at all what you thought it was? There's, there's, to be fair, there's quite a lot of food like that. I'll be honest, something that I basically wrote off quite, quite young and I probably shouldn't have is I don't really like many soups. And I thought that was just, like... I just didn't like any soup. So I wouldn't. I, I basically didn't try any soup for a really, really long time. Turns out there's just a few soups I don't like. Mainly tomato soup, because I'm not big into tomato. Which is, I know, blasphemous for most people, but that's not a big one for me. Um, and yeah, like, there's quite a lot of, like, mushroom soup, chicken noodle soup, all that sort of stuff is just great. So it's just, it's just kind of stupid of me to write something like that off so early just because of not liking one thing. And I feel like that's kind of an interesting thing in general with like how your tastes change when you get older. Cause like, I feel like there's a lot of I uh, food items, a lot of things that you basically are unwilling to try again because you know that you used to dislike. So like, I am, like I've disliked beans for the longest time, baked beans, uh, a British staple, which is blasphemous again, but I've disliked beans for like the longest time. But I will say, I literally haven't tried eating them in about 15 years. Like, I cannot remember the last time I even attempted to try them. Because I think I don't like them. <laughs> and I I actually have no idea if I if I'm, I might like them by now. Like, your taste changes as you get older. I, I might very well like it by now. Um, I mean, my I was actually a relatively... Not, not like super, but I was a relatively picky eater when I was younger, and that has obviously changed drastically. Um, and there was a few things that I just outright would never, ever touch. Um, like, I didn't care for any kind of spice or curry, and now I absolutely love both. I didn't care for trying, ooh, what the hell? I didn't care for trying anything with tomatoes in it, and now most tomato-based dishes are some of my favorite. I didn't care for anything with onion in it, whether it was cooked or raw. Um, even, I'd even, if I had a beef burger, I wouldn't eat it with the bun. I'd just eat the burger. Even if I got it from, like, McDonald's. Um, I, I was a very, very picky eater when I was younger. Um, and, yeah, it's just kind of interesting that sort, sort of so much of that changed. And it makes me think that, like, there's probably a good chance that some of the things I'm adamant that I don't like is just that I haven't tried them in a long time. Although, one thing I will say is, um, when I went to Greece a few months ago, um, obviously that's like the where all the olives in the world come from. I mean, literally our hotel was surrounded by olive fields and olive trees everywhere. I mean, absolutely everywhere. And so I was like, I know that I hate olives. I've hated olives for a long time. Honestly, I can't fathom how anyone actually likes olives. They are despicable. They make good oil, but otherwise they are awful. And I really do not understand how people enjoy them. But anyways, I was like, do you know what? It's been so long since I've actually tried olives properly. So, I'm going to give them a go. Because these are literally the best olives I'll ever have. Um, and it's and I was like, oh, it's probably been like 10 years since I last ate an olive. They were still absolutely disgusting. Just one of the worst foods. It It's just everything about it is wrong. It's too salty. It um, has a pit in the middle. They, uh, they have a really grainy texture. The taste isn't very nice. It's just... It, 
even the best quality olives that we could possibly get, the freshest and best quality, they were still just disgusting. <laughs> I just can't fathom how anyone enjoys olives. It's like, there's a lot of foods I'm just like, eh, tastes are different. People people like different things. It's whatever. No. With olives, I'm like, nah, 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 nah. I, I, I physically can't understand how people actually like those things. They are just foul. Just foul. Right. Been to an item room and stuff. Bloody hell, this boss. Okay, although this boss is not so bad when we've got the punching bag right next to him. Honestly, my little buddies, like, that he's spawning are doing a very good job. Ow. Good, good. Still no angel deal on a 67% chance, but... That is the way it goes sometimes. I don't know if range does anything for us, but speed is definitely nice. It's easier to get around to our cracks. Easier to move around the room. Oh god. These guys are teleporting. What the hell? I swear there's some enemies from Fiend Folio that I've seen a thousand times and I still don't actually know what they do because I've either killed them too quickly or I'm just completely misremembering. This is slightly tricky of a room here. Actually, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> I say that and immediately I'm pretty much disproved. I always get these guys confused for the champions that split into additional champions, uh, into additional enemies, because they, they have that, that green pulsing glow that the champion effect has, but that's just what they're like. These summoner type enemies can be quite annoying. Lovely. Uh, shop is actually viable now. Soul Converter unfortunately doesn't do anything for us. I'll buy a sack as well, why not? Sticky Nickel. Thank you. Still haven't turned anything to a ghost bomb yet. I've not really had anything that's super worthwhile of doing that to. I'll be honest. I mean, the, the nerve pinch is probably one that would have been, but I'm like, I took it because it's like, I feel like it's one of those ones that has the potential to be really good. I've just never really, like, I've, I've had the item a, a good handful of times, but I've just never found the, the right opportunity to use it correctly. So it's kind of it's kind of a good thing to hold on to, I guess. Nice. But this character isn't all about going for the ghost bomb play. I just really like the way this character plays. Plays so differently. I'm not like I said, I'm not guaranteeing this, but I am hoping that um I can get some art done for um the tarnished characters. Is it tarnished? Because I'll, I'll be honest, I'm not a, I, I wasn't a big fan of the Tarnished characters when it came out, and I'm still not a massive fan of the idea of another version of Tainted characters. Personally, I'd, I'd rather just see unique characters. I don't know if this will work with this character, but I feel like the synergy potential is there for it to potentially work. This character does have a lot of synergies, so maybe. Might have been a waste, but we'll see. Um... But yeah, um, I, I, I'm still not a big fan of that idea, I'll be honest. But, like, basically all of the issues I had with most of the characters have been addressed in terms of, like, the characters have been rebalanced or uh, tweaked or whatnot. I think the only one that I'm still not a big fan of is Tarnish Judas. I think I just, I just don't like the idea of Tarnish Judas really at all. But the other ones, like Maggie got a pretty good rework. Isaac got changed a little bit as well. I think Tarnished Keeper looks incredibly fun. I think he's a he's a very, very good idea. Tarnished Eden is just kind of eh. <laughs> he is what he is. He's, he's not really super unique or anything. I, I guess it's something. Um, I don't have too many thoughts about that guy. And I can't remember if there's any other ones, I'll be honest. Oh, it's Kane, isn't it? Kane is another one that I'm like so-so on. I think he sounds kind of interesting, but I think from what I've seen in practice, he doesn't play that well. But then again, things have been changed. Things get tweaked. I don't want to write it off. So I, I, am, I am definitely more tempted to uh, try them out for a series. I will take that. Golden Bomb. Seven Seals. Lovely. go. A puzzle piece? I haven't seen a puzzle piece in so long. All stats up. 
Damn it. Just quickly see if I can find my other secret room now that I have the infinite bombs going. Probably here. I actually have quite a good suite of uh, familiars to basically auto-play the game for me at this point. I've got one dude that spawns those little minions, another guy that spawns the locusts, and then punching back to distract everyone. Basically, I could just let them three play the game for me. Yeah, it's a little bit of a shame that we're not seeing any sinus infection synergy here. Um, I'd like it if, uh, if, if characters would get more synergies like this, but hey ho, it is what it is. <sighs> This guy does have some bespoke synergies. I just don't know how many. Not quite like Henry that has 320, goddamn. Hen the person that made Henry, uh, Nero, I think his name is, is just absolutely crazy. Went to such effort to make sure the character could have a lot of fun with a lot of different items. And I think that's honestly something with custom characters, especially custom characters that have a very unique playstyle or unique, like, thing with them is making so making sure they have some synergy with the vanilla game and making sure they have some difference oh shit i thought that was um oh my god this game needs to stop i thought this was um like i didn't realize it was hurting creep basically i thought it was other creep whoops i guess big whoops now this is the first one that i think using this is perfectly reasonable because um I don't need that. Oh shit, I don't have a key now. Balls. I wonder if like shot speed affects the rate at which the ghosts travel towards the enemies and stuff. I have no idea if there's anything like that with this character. We're clearing rooms pretty fast to be honest, we really are. I like it. I saw. I apologise. I'm burping a little bit. I've just opened a can of KA Fruit Punch. Beautiful stuff. But yeah, I'm also uh, at the minute. I'm kind of like gearing up for the Christmas break. I am. Un I am actually a little annoyed. Which this this is going to sound bad, but <laughs> I'm a little annoyed at when I'm going to hit 10k because. For the, obviously, those of you probably know already, I'm going to do some sort of face reveal for hitting 10k. I still need to buy a better webcam for that. Oh, God. Don't let me die this early. Um, I'm going to buy, like, a new webcam and stuff for it. Um, and I'm planning on that being part of the uh, of the new series. It's going to be, like, the first episode sort of thing. I might actually die to Mother here. This is not good. Right, let's be careful here. It's just, it's problematic because it just never aims for the right thing. Where's my, where's my cracks at? I can only see one of them. Oh, one of them's here, I see. The blood on the floor, it makes it impossible to bloody see where the things are. Got a Baleful Heart there. Ooh, wait. Baleful Heart is very good as this character because it's literally like the exact same implementation as what this character is. So, if we can not get hit for a little while, this is going to be really nice. Basically, it's just going to spawn random cracks every now and again. Um, spawn ghosts. It's going to be really, really good. Oh, this room seems absolutely fucked for us. Okay, luckily there wasn't much to it. That room could have been really bad. I also think we're going to have a really hard time on this floor. Yeah, Baleful Heart is, is pretty incredible for us. I think we've just got to rely on Punching Bag to basically take the heat off of us for the most part here. But yeah, we're getting a lot of extra ghosts just passively here. I like to see that. And a bunch of jumpy fucks. I should deal with them. I just want one Soul Heart to keep us going here. Just one to keep us going, please. I still need to get the mod that highlights the cracks in the floor a bit better, because I'm still having a really hard time seeing them. 
for the most part. Dude. <laughs> that guy baited the hell out of me. Wow. Okay. Baited me. I, I tried to pass over. I didn't realize he'd already started his brimstone. But I think he'd already started brimstoning because of where uh, our thingy was. Right, let's, um, how do we want to, how do we want to carry on with this episode? I'm not quite sure, I'll be honest. Um, a minus 10 streak? Fuck me. That is not good. Um, doot, doot, doot. Let's just finish off with a bit of a zazel, why not? He's a, he's a quick character. We'll see if we can speed run. Why the hell not? Yeah, a little bit of a shame to die so early. Ooh, we got a soul of Lilith early on. And we got dead weight. Oh! Wait a minute. What the hell? Wasn't that strange? Oh, balls. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I don't know how useful it is for us, but it's kind of cool. Spawns three random batteries. Three of wands. Interesting. They all just disappeared. That's fine. I don't really need them. Yeah, I don't know how good this item is. It seems interesting. It's kind of funny that it's classes as, as a familiar as well. That was nice. It's it's really hard to pick up, I'll be honest, for some reason. Yeah, this is this is pretty interesting. We've uh, created something quite strange here. I'll, I'll take that. Range down, really, as a character that already has such low range. Really? You're both going to run away from the bomb the moment it's about to explode? Thanks. It's okay, though. He is dead nonetheless. Hey, and we got Sour Patch as well, which is pretty good for us. Yeah, we're just going to try and speed run the hell out of this. I don't know if I'm going to be using the Burn Boy that often, I'll be honest. He seems good, but kind of an inconvenience, especially for this character. We need... What we need is we need, like, Dr. Fetus or something. With this character, it make, gives, just gives you brimstone bombs with the new synergy mod. So that would be very good. So that's going to be our next item room. Confirmed. You heard it here first. I like the way it throws out all the burns like that. That's pretty nice. It's a little annoying that you start every room holding it. But also it's kind of good because you can get a bit of extra damage straight away. Oh, really? I am taking bad damage here. Fine. What we're going to do is, we're going to go on a win streak directly after this episode. We're going to get a thousand wins in a row. Now, I do want to, when we start the new save file, I do want to try my best to get an actually decent win streak going and not just walk into fire. Um, dude, let me pick up the goddamn item. Oh, if we die early on, it's, it is what it is. We do get a boss room here, though. Very, very, very nice. The hook going. Oh god, this guy is tricky. Honestly, yeah, our range is so bad now. So bad. Can you get over here, fella? Okay. Not bad. We actually got a good item out of that as well. I was always confused by the... Uh, I, I kind of realized why now, because uh, there's a lot of uh, enemies... Uh, sorry, uh characters that already do, but I was always surprised that um, this character could have red health. I think that's part of another reason that he's so overpowered early on, because he kind of seems like a character that would be um, thingy health only. Like, Blackheart and Soulheart health only. Boom. I'm going to check this out just in case there's something beautiful in here. That's decent enough. Lovely. Get the little daggers going. I don't actually know if that was any, if that has any use to us, because I don't even know if we can fire the daggers. Dude, get this 
Damn Goober out of my hands, please. <laughs> Very inconvenient. Oh no, we are firing them. Okay, that's kind of interesting. We just like fire them as an addition to our brimstone beam. I wasn't expecting that. Did we get a range up? Yeah, we did. Went from 3.5 to 5.5. I'm guessing the bandage item was a range up. <laughs> I do kind of love that. What the hell hit me then? Okay. It is what it is. <laughs> it just adds on to the effect that I'm near that thing that's basically making me high and it's just uh, <laughs> making a bunch of sparkly noises. Oh, balls. We broke it. And it was all green. Yeah, for some reason, if you like exit the room at the wrong time while one of those guys has you um has you like tripping out it just it just colors the entire run and so now our entire run is green <laughs> every single floor is going to be green dice shard there we'll take that yeah Every single room here, every single floor, it's not going to end after this floor. It's going to be green. It's, it's kind of funny, really. For a speedy run like this. But yeah, I find the punish to be relatively difficult. Like, I feel like my my showcase video for him was the best I've ever done as him. <laughs> He's a fun character, but yeah. I feel like he can sometimes lack, um, lack those synergies I was talking about. You don't get them that often. Be nice to see more of them. So if we get Krampus's head here, actually, even if we get Lump of Coal, I think we should reroll. Nice. And we get Dark Arts, which is a lot better. <laughs> we'll take that. Thank you. Right, get out of my hands, you goddamn Goober. Yeah, Dark Arts is very, very good. I mean, for this reason alone. Oh, hello. Do I want to gamble this? That was a hefty gamble, and all I got out of it was a speed upgrade, so. <laughs> we got Cracker Jacks here, though, so that's fine. Don't worry, don't fret. Ooh, you can fire your Brimstone as your Dark Arts thing. That's kind of interesting. I did not know that. So I can go fire and then run. Ooh, that's pretty good. That was a really bad hit there from me. Oh, God. This has not been so good. I just keep making really bad plays, but I don't really care. I'm kind of like, because I'm not on the new save file yet, I'm kind of like at the point where I'm like, eh. It just is as it is. Uh, but what I, I can't remember I finished my thought earlier. What I was saying about like how it's kind of inconvenient when my 10k is going to hit. Because it is almost definitely going to hit while I'm home for Christmas. And it's like, I could prepare the video early. But I, I need to get a haircut really badly before my face reveal, I'll be honest. Um, and I normally get a haircut when I'm back home to see my family. Because there's a hairdresser, a hairdresser, there's a barber there that I really like. So I, I definitely want to do it after rather than before. Um, <laughs> so it's a little bit inconvenient timing, really. It is as it is. I'm looking forward to it, though. I am curious to see if, um, if I match up to people's expectations of what I look like. I'm very curious to see. I'm going to guess for the most part, no. I, I think I feel like it's rare that people do match up. But I'll, I'll be interested to see if that's the case or not. I need to use Dark Arts a little more, really. Double Soul Heart drop. Lovely. Double Soul Hearts do make the game a bit easier, but... I don't mind it. Oh, also, just, for, just, just to say, Alexa recently started playing um, modded... Enter the Gungeon, and um, he's using the mod pack that I like sent him, the ones that I use in my series. So if people want to go check that out, 
check out some modded Gungeon from a good content creator, then please do go ahead, because, yeah, I enjoyed his video thoroughly, and it's really cool to see other people, other content creators, getting involved in modded Gungeon, because I think it is really kind of a hidden gem. I feel like not many people know about it or, or watch it, and it is it is really good. Right. Ah, oh, that isn't... I, I used Q rather than thingy and just walked right into that guy. I pressed Q rather than spacebar. E. Good, that was damage. I found pills. Okay, we are definitely speeding through here. I'm glad I did this extra run. The other one was just very, very short. And this this dagger item is actually pretty good with this setup. Especially considering we're close range, so we're basically getting all the gems. Really? This guy in a normal room? Holy shit. That was a lot of gemstones. I'm getting kind of a weird thing now where I'm like, was the game always green? <laughs> it's starting to look normal. It's starting to look normal. It's very strange. I mean, I know it's not, but it's weird. I'm getting used to it now. I'm going to play my next run and be like, where's Green Gun uh, Green Isaac gone? I miss Green Isaac. Yeah, we're leveling up our dagger a lot. Like, we can just hold fire and... Like, look at this. Just use our dagger. Oh my god, we got it at, like, max rank now. Fuck it, this is crazy. We don't even have to fire. This is actually bonkers good. My goodness. Wow, yeah, we have absolutely no need to use our brimstone anymore. This dagger item is fantastic. Hey, and we got the Apple of Pride as well. Apple of Pride is insane if you can keep it going, which I often can't, but... Let's pretend I can. The, uh, f the like, insane fire rate on this thing right now. Don't telefrag me, you shit. Good, good. Yeah, now I just want to level up my dagger as much as I possibly can. That kingpin thing was insane. Let's hope we get him as a boss again. I don't know how many it is to level up each time. Steam sale, I might as well. Why not? It's rare that I go everywhere but the uh, boss room on the earlier floors. Very rare. We've also got these dudes which are just chilling all of our little... Other little... What are, they, what are they called again? Leeches? All the little leeches? I don't know why I forgot the word for leeches there. No! I lost my stats! You bastard! I can't tell. Is that a golden poop there? It is. <laughs> Not golden at all. Why did I get in the middle of that? How did I not get hit? I don't really care about this room. Right. Boss room, let's go. It's dagger time. <laughs> yeah, I think it's I think it's honestly worth just using our daggers. Honestly, the leeches. Wow. The leeches are so crazy. I love the fact that when the leeches are in water as well, they get that extra movement bonus. Oh, I did not know this. I'll be honest, I've had this item many, many times. And I always thought that your um, gemstone pickups, that your, your like, level of your dagger was a permanent upgrade. I never knew that it reset every floor. That is completely new news to me. Um, and that definitely makes things a little trickier with our current strategy, so... I'm going to have to re-level it up, so... Yeah, I, I didn't know that at all. Oh god, that was close. I'm not going to do the D7 effect on this room. No, thank you. Yeah, so basically, unless you get, like, a really, really crazy setup, 
it's not always going to be good every floor. Which is kind of fine. It makes it a little more balanced. I'm just surprised I never realized that before. We got it leveled up like four times last time, so... We've got quite a long way to go before we get it back to where it was. Because like I said, that kingpin just absolutely changed everything. That's Ipecac. That is Ipecac. Now, do the daggers do explosive damage? Let's figure that out. They do not. Okay, so the daggers aren't really our most formidable force anymore. The explosions are. Yeah. Explosive force, pretty good. We definitely need more range, though. I feel like this setup with uh, Ipecac, yeah, I'm going to hit myself quite a lot. Nothing in there that I want. Let's check this out. Pop? This could be literally awful, but I have to try it because it seems interesting. Basically just leaving bombs everywhere. Oh, really? Are they pop shots, not um, explosive? No, they're not. Oh. That's really disappointing. I really thought the... Um, Oh god, I'm gonna kill myself in this boss fight, aren't I? I shouldn't have I shouldn't have come in here. Um, I really thought the, the pop shots would uh, would be explosive. It's a little disappointing, I'll be honest. We're still absolutely wrecking right now. We've got our daggers to help out too. Big fat boy. Extra champion fat boy as well. I don't know what champion this is. Yeah, we're definitely going to die in this boss rush, but this has been a fun excursion. A fun little second run for the video. Oh my lord. Yeah, I've really uh, sort of gotten away from um, being... I used to be quite hung up about, like, my win streak and how well I was doing. I've very much just given up on that. I feel like the commentary is what people are here for. The, the gameplay can be entertaining. Basically, really, what you want is you want to get... A good enough run to where you can clickbait the thumbnail at least a little bit. And that's about it. Everything else in the video doesn't matter too much. Which is still... I still find it really strange. Like, I feel like if you're... If people are watching the Isaac videos at this point, the vast majority of people are watching it for the commentary and not the gameplay. Yet, the, the thumbnail... And what items I get and put in the thumbnail massively influence the amount of views the video gets. So there must be a pretty big portion of people that are still only watching for the actual, or at least mainly watching for the Isaac gameplay. Which I just find, yeah, I just find odd. We're definitely going to die here, but it is as it is. It's just we don't have enough range to stay away from our explosions. But it's fine. I'm fine with it. Honestly, the leeches are just killing it right now. They're just instantly killing enemies sometimes. Look at that. That, 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 that boss is dead from basically just the leeches there. That's wild. And now that we've got friends zone, we managed to live through that somehow. I'm very surprised. Right, green womb. Let's go. That sounds like a very horrible disease. The green scarred womb. No thank you. Now that is some toxic shock. But I still think we're going to die here because all it takes is for hit us to hit ourselves one time and things go pretty awry. Yeah, there you go. Oh, well, that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. I'm glad that I extended the episode a little bit in case uh, a 25-minute run wasn't quite enough. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.